Welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the PES smoke patch to update your software, your game to the current 2021 rosters and kits. You can find the smoke patches at pessmokepatch.com. And uh, this is their homepage. If you go to smoke patch, you'll have an introduction status of the different versions. Um, and you will find patches, uh, big patches, all inclusive for two, uh, 2021, PES 2020, 19, 18, 17. And then there are some other ones that um, have other versions. So I'm gonna be using as an example, uh, the patch for PES 2018. And I was waiting for it to make this video because it was released on November 30th and this patch will update the product uh, to the 2021 season, which is pretty nice. So here it goes, PES 2018 smoke patch version three. And this is an all-in-one, it says here, uh, we go down the description um, and it says that it's similar to the, uh, the patch for 21. And uh, what it does here, some restrictions because of the squad numbers. Uh, in PS18, teams cannot have more than 32 players. So, you know, they'll be abbreviating some of those, et cetera, et cetera. The general features of this patch is compatibility with the latest game, game version. And is, this is an important thing, ready for season 2021. This is why you want to add this patch. You're going to get real names. The teams will have real names and logos. We have real kits, correct stadium names and rivals. The leagues have the correct name and logo. Remove duplicated teams. You got new teams, new national teams, new leagues, classic teams. A lot of real faces, mini faces, balls, boots, and gloves, and many others. This is a great patch to add to any of your games. And you got descriptions on any other things that they have. The basic installation is here. Uh, we're going to extract the patch. We're going to source the patch. I like to start with that. We're going to extract it. And we're gonna run smoke patch and install it. Okay. Uh, they have detailed instructions that you can read on your own, and they are pretty good instructions here. So why am I doing this video? Is that every time you try to follow some instructions, there will be some questions. So hopefully I will have some lame, very simple uh, recommendations for you that you can uh, it might answer some of the things that are not covered here. But they have a very good step-by-step, uh, -step, including, you know, getting all the parts of the patch, extracting the one part, and then running the installation as an administrator, and, you know, and getting it done. So why don't we go ahead and get started? So the first thing is you see, you go down here, you can have the, uh, the official download links. So we're going to hit that. In my case, I come exactly to the page we want. You see that is 18.3.0 as of November 30th. This is the main release and last one. So we're going to hit one by one and download those. You can hit mega or media fire, media fire. Yeah. So here comes and uh, don't touch anything. You go to direct access to smoke patch link. In my case, it will start downloading right away. I'm sorry about all these additional add-ons, but that's the way it is. Sometimes you go through pages of advertisement
I'm going step by step here. I know I'm going slow. And here we're going to load it. And I'm going to put the part in the downloads folder. Here it goes. Finish transferring. And we're going to close this window. We're going to go back here and go through the process and hit part two. Now you need to know where you go. there's a couple of spots that you are going to use here. You need to know where the folder for the game is, the safe folder, and that will be usually under documents. You see here, PC documents, Konami, and Konami itself, you got the, the games under that Konami and then Prevolution Soccer. Then you have the save folder. We need to know where this is. The next place that you need to know of <clears throat> is where the actual game application is. This is important because if um, depending on your skill with the computer, uh, that may vary. In my case, I saved my game in the D drive. You may as well have it in the C drive as well. So I got a Steam game, so Steam apps, common. I'm going to look for Evolution Soccer 18, and there is the game. You can see here, application. There is the game right here. All right, so we need to know what this is. Very good. So we're going to go to Downloads, and I got my patch uh, part one, two, and three. And these other guys, I'm going to move them out of the way because I want to keep this area clean. They need to be all together in the same spot for this to work properly. And I am going to extract the first part. I'm going to highlight only the first part. I got a WinZip application and I wanted to unzip to a folder right in this spot. I'm using a trial, which is just fine. And you see the folder already loading here. Let's wait for a couple of seconds, depending on the capabilities of your hardware. Very good. So here's the guy. Now I'm going to open that. There is my smoke patch folder. Right from here, I got a couple of things. I'm going to run this application, which is going to load the patch in the game folder. So double click on that, open it. Um, or you can, the other thing you can do, let me just Come back here, you can right click and you're gonna run it as an administrator. I was already running as administrator anyway, so here at Windows is gonna open this little thing here. It might be confusing, but you need to hit more options and then it's give you a message that says, you know, this is an unknown publisher, blah blah blah. Uh, you're gonna run anyway. and the install will kick in. I'm going to say yes. Welcome to Smoke Patch. And hit next to continue. Find patch into the Smoke Patch website, blah, blah, blah. Um, OK, here's another thing that is not explained very well. You either have an option of hitting non-Steam game. If you do that, it's going to say here, this is compatible with a non-Steam copy of the game. Don't get alarmed. 
Steam Original Game. So I'm going to click that and now it says this is compatible with Steam Original Game only. So that's what they want you to hit. Go next. And remember I said you need to know where your game folder is. And we knew it was on the program files, Steam, Apps, Common, Pro Evolution, Soccer. That C, that was for my regular folder. I want the actual application. So I'm going to hit here and I'm going to find uh the d is i gotta have it on d steam library the maps common pro evolution soccer and it is in here that i have so this is the one I'm going to choose. See, I have it highlighted that folder and this is why I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to the right place. Or this is why I started the, uh, the section saying you need to know the location of your game application and also the save folder. So we're going to go here. It is very critical that we put in the right place. Otherwise, it's not going to. So depending Again, on the capability of the hardware, this is going to go more or less fast or faster. I'm going to expedite the video <laughs> to make this going fast. Oh, actually, it's going pretty good. All right. So he, so he threw me back here. Um, I'm going to close that, but this is installed. Very well. Now we're going to start the game and see how it was. It goes, let's verify the installation worked. We should have, uh, the new rosters, the new names. You see the SP and the intro. Okay. And this is the, uh, the intro scene for Smoke Patch version 3, all inclusive. This is a normal intro for 2018 PES. It's pretty cool. All right, moving forward course we are offline any product PES 2018 already went offline as well no more support on the server as of last this last October so we're gonna get a little error here but that that's fine we know that we're expecting that so you don't have to worry about any uh, incompatibilities with online because we're all offline here but at least again, you can play Master League, you can play some other offline stuff here, any offline stuff here, and enjoy the latest squads with this version of the software. So let's try an exhibition match. Make sure everything is in order. Bundesliga. And I see that Bayern is here because in 2021, they put it in the wrong place. They put it on their other European teams. I do not know why. It's not in the Bundesliga for some reason. Alliance Arena. And there you go. There you have the nice new kits. Let's see. That's a dark. Uniform they use on champions, the white uniform. On the Chelsea side, we see the new kit as well, with the uh, the numbers on the shirt. Very cool. I'm gonna go with the light blue in this case. And let's let's look at the intro. Guys, um, I'm going to leave it at this. This is the smoke patch installation. You can increment the patch by adding 
additional um, stadiums, uh, chants, logos, etc. You will find be that very uh, shortly, under add-ons. That will be a topic and for Peter another Drury, video. And this, is so, Jim this is looking good. Delight to have him on board. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Drury. Uh and there they are. The stadium looks good. Yeah, this is a setup that offers easier flexibility whether you want to attack and or defend. And the rosters look good, man. Yeah. Havertz, Demon Werner, Chelsea. This is awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy the patch and until the next one, okay? Thanks for watching.